Hi grade 4, today inshallah we are going to take unit 15, the Olympic Games, the Olympic Games, lesson 1 and 2, lesson 1 and 2, this is a picture of Olympic Games, the symbol of Olympic Games, and here the first picture is a picture of rice and the Second picture is the picture of the winner. Let's start with our new words as usual. Open your pocket on page 70. Open your pocket on page 70. Number one, ancient. Ancient means very, very old. Ancient, very old. Number two, start. Start means begin. Start means begin. To start something, it means to begin something. I begin my lesson at 8 o'clock or I start my lesson or at 6 o'clock. Race. Race means running competition. Athletes join the race. Athletes join the race. Race means running competition. Number four, compete. Compete is the verb from the word competition. Compet compete means to have a competition. Compete means to have a competition. Winner. Winner is the, is the person who wins or is the person who comes first. Winner. Winner is the person who wins or the person who comes first. Event. Event means an occasion. Event means an occasion. Olympic Games is an event. Olympic Games is an event. Ancient, very old, start, begin, race, running competition, compete to have a competition, winner, person who wins, event, an occasion. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wonderful means great. Wonderful means great. Athlete. Athlete. Person who is good at sports. For example, the runner is an athlete. The runner is an athlete. Athlete is the person who is good at sports. Number nine. Think. Think means use your mind. Think means use your mind. It also means um, guess. Modern. Modern is the opposite of ancient. Modern means new. So, modern is the opposite of ancient. Modern means new. Important. Important something you can't live without. You can't li live without water, you can't live without air, so they are important. Important means something you can't live without. Popular. Popular is famous and well known. For example, Ronaldinho is a popular footballer, football player. Ronaldinho is a popular football player. Popular, famous, and well-known. Our grammar today is about forming sentence. We start our sentence with subject, then we put verb, and after verb, we put object. We form the sentence by using subject, verb, object, subject, verb, object. Object. We start our sentence with subject, then we put verb, after verb we put object. <clears throat> Here, sentence is a group of words that gives a meaning. Sentence is a group of words that gives a meaning. To make a sentence, you have to put subject at first, then verb, after verb, put object. Subject is the doer, it can be a person or a thing. Subject is the doer, it can be a person or a thing.
The verb is the action that the subject does. The verb is the action that the subject does. Object, something or someone that was affected by the subject and the verb. Object, something or someone that was affected by the subject and the verb. For example, the driver drives the car. The driver drives the car. The driver here is subject. He is the doer. Drives here is verb. It is the action. The car here is the object. As we know, we start our sentence with subject. The driver is subject. After subject, we put verb. So, drives is the verb. After verb we put object the car here is the object the goalkeeper caught the ball the goalkeeper caught the ball as we know the goalkeeper is the subject coat is the verb the ball is the object subject verb object so the goalkeeper is the subject Coat is the verb, the ball is the object. The students wrote the homework. The students wrote the homework. The students is the subject, wrote is the verb, the homework is the object. The students is the doer, wrote is the verb, the action. The homework is the object. The swimmer swims in the sea. The swimmer swims in the sea. The swimmer here is the subject. Swims is the verb. In the sea is the object. His mother made him a cake for his birthday. His mother made him a cake for his birthday. His mother is the subject. His mother is the subject. Made is the verb. Him a cake. Both are objects. Him, a cake, both are objects. Open your booklet on page 73 and let's answer this question together. He plays volleyball. He writes subject, verb and object. He is the subject, plays is the verb, volleyball is the object. We start our sentence with subject then we put verb after verb we put the object so he is the subject blaze is the verb volleyball is the object they drank coffee they drank coffee who can answer they is the subject drink is the verb coffee is the object again we start with the subject they after, sub after uh, subject, verb, drink. After verb, object, coffee. The strongest storm below the trees. The strongest storm below the trees. The strong storm is the subject. The strong storm is the subject. Below, below is the verb. The trees is the object. My mother bought some new things my mother is the subject boat is the verb some new things is the object the farmer plants the seeds the farmer is the subject plants is the verb the seeds is the object here we have the end of this video see you inshallah in another video see you soon